Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be for day six of our sixth annual Fragmas mid-year. Uh, very excited to check out some more Isaac Repentance today. Going to work on some more alternate character unlocks and maybe a few other things. We'll see uh, how the day goes. Thanks everybody for being here nice and early. Let's head on in and see where it takes us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. We all caught up here. What's up, Nuaz, Heartstrings, Sanchez, Rain the Red-Nosed Reindeer. What's up, Green Clot, Zealot, Frost. Contra Mahato, what's up, Peachy Keen Machine, Motarkis, Adamos, Mr. Caliber, what's up, Push Ups, hey there, Arky Woo, Dragon House, Soapy, Eric, nice to see you, Applesauce, Jagels, and all the rest. Hey, let me get caught up with your support here before we kick this thing off as well. Asphyxia, thanks for three months. Peter Draws, thanks for dropping that 49, dude. Mythic Applesauce, 52 months. And Elusive, thanks for an ultra generous. 5,000 bits to start off this stream, man. Thank you. What alternate cares we have left here? Okay, so we got Jacob, Bethany, Forgotten, Apollyon, Keeper, Lost, Lazarus, and Zazzy. We're going for Lazarus. Looking good. Ooh, quick shot. So after we have all the alternate characters unlocked, gonna work on some of the uh, alternate characters. But every character now has an alternate, which is uh, more challenging in some ways. What pill is this? Health up, nice. You know, little chests this early is really good. It's going to drop a lot of trinkets and other stuff. Hills here. Range down, all right. That's fine. At least we're not Kane. Okay, deep pockets. Maybe just buy a sack there. Uh, the alternate characters have different challenge mechanics. That's the best I can describe it. They have different stats or different mechanics or both. Hmm. That's a lot of spoodaman. I would say, on average, though, the alternate characters are what well, you'd call hard mode for that character, right? Oh, snap. Hey, hey, look at that anemic paying off. And more spoodas. I do think a few of the alternate characters are more on the easy side, but that's a couple of them. Not, not the average. I'm not sure of all their mechanics, but we'll get to that soon enough. Well, it spiders the level. There is a lot of rocks in this room, man. Okay, I like more cards. I think we're going to do boss, and then we're going to do the spike room. I kind of tempted to go spike room first, but I'm not going to. Okay, okay. 
vibrant bulb I'm probably going to take with us if we do get a mediocre space for item, which there certainly is plenty of those in the game, we'll get a stat boost. Dang it. And you got me, bud. That is a very nice item, though. Ooh, I have not seen this cursed room yet. I'm glad we went in here. At worst, we're getting plus two hearts. I guess actually a bit more because we um, came in with the red heart. Er Same goal as every stream, Lemmy. Have a good time playing video games. Let's go. Hey, g -Boot, thank you so much for 31 months. And Chade, thanks for that awesome 30. I've been enjoying the expansion a lot. Okay, okay. So, I don't know exactly how the Excited Pill works now, but we're sped up at the moment. That'd be an awesome room to get flying in. Uh, black hearts are the same as blue hearts, except for they do room-wide damage when they um, disappear. So, when you lose a black heart, it damages everything in the room like a death card. Oh boy. I wonder if this procs a certain amount of times, or how this works. I'm curious. Hematimesis. Hey, Havini, thanks for three months, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, that makes sense, Motarkas. I could believe that, that you have a certain amount of time you're going to be sped up, but the activation is random, and it appears to only happen in combat. Pretty good on resources this run. I can see forever. Actually, it's bomb there. right here. I should be able to get both. Hey, there's a soul heart in my gambling machine. Mm 
Okay. Well, I was hoping to get a bit more out of that, but okay. There we go. Uh, that's all right. Um, what's in here? Ooh, this is a nice item. I believe this is the one that makes our tiers split into other tiers. It is. Really don't feel as if the store is worth it here. Oh, what I'm really hoping for from the devil deal here is a flying item. That'd be awesome. PhD or bad PhD uh, makes all pills bad, but also gives stats and hearts and things when we take pills. So, like amnesia pill always gives a black heart. Uh, some other pills give damage, but also a stat down. I think I'm going to pass on this, but uh, it's not a bad item per se. All right, we're going to go down now. I think that one's also kind of dependent on if you know what your pill pool is already. Uh, if you don't know your pill pool, then maybe a little less beneficial. Also, if you had pill-generating items like Acid Baby or Pill Bottle, uh, it'd be pretty nice, huh? Uh, our last heart here is a Bone Heart. It's a refillable Red Heart container. I like to consider it as a three-hit soul heart, basically. Yes, yeah, so if the bone heart's empty and we get hit, we lose it. Uh, bone hearts are all right. I don't really consider them good or bad. They're just kind of a thing. They're sometimes a hindrance depending on what items you have and what effects you're going for, because they do count as a red heart container. But on average, more health is good. Alright, this gives item rooms in the womb, but we're not taking that route, so I don't think so. Let's see what the boss is. I'm ready. This guy's a bit of a jerk, but not really a, that tough of a boss. I think the hard part about this fella is his HP count. Yeah, that happened. Oh! I got hit. Oof. Just had to say something about him, didn't I?
What do? <laughs> we use this like Trinket City right now. I think I will take bag lunch. Um, I'm gonna leave with the dim bowl. The groom's probably south there. Yeah, I'm debating if I want to fight that guy as the lost here or not. I'm thinking yes. And I am also extremely sure now that, um... Get out of here, fly. This guy's a jerk. Extremely sure now that there's always a red combat room on down 4-2. Where's this item room at? So the hitbox on these while we're on this floor is above the reflection. Makes sense, right? Minecrafter. What does this do? Oh, it creates a TNT box. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, I am going to go back for the dim bulb here. Because this will be an item that can boost the stats between dim bulb and devil card. I think we should be fine here. And hey, if we lose, we just start a new run. No bigs. Nice stat up there. What's this? Huge growth? Okay, okay. Huge growth is actually much better damage than the devil card. It will make our hitbox a little funky, but it's all good. Hell yeah. Lost Korg has so many uh, trinkets this floor. I'm gonna drop a couple of trinkets inside of the um, item room here. We're on our way back. Or at least one. Uh oh, spaghettis. Get all cut up here. Avene, thanks for three months. And Isbin fan, thanks for 37. Happy fragments to you. Sorry for not seeing your notifications sooner there. Appreciate you being here. Oh, snap. Oh, 
Um, let's go. Huge growth. See, the damage is good, but we're going to be fine here. Oh, crap. Maybe not. <laughs> I just had to say it. Oh, we still resurrect as Lazarus here? Awesome. I actually was not expecting to live after that. Maybe not all bad, then. We can get our um, combat room now, too. I wonder if the item's in here. It's not. Alright, so now I got a chance at another item inside the combat room, too. And we got the stat up from resurrecting. And we got a stat up from dim bulb. So our build's actually improved a lot here. Our health, however, is not. Damage and range. Love to see it. Oh, this guy again. Cool. There you go, bud. Not bad, not bad. Okay, cool. You like to see that. What range down? Probably not. Alright, let's go ahead and grab one of the trinkets that dropped here and bring it to the item room. Netrunner383, thank you so much for 79 months. One more for that big 8-0. Our stats are fantastic. Going down... Yeah, we do have a free bomb with that. I have 13 bombs now. Really, our space bar item is just for activating the, uh, the bulb right now. Hey, that's good. That's good. Look at me. I'm not one hit from death. Look at me. Our generator is pretty sweet. Okay, this is milk. But I guess milk is relatively the same as it was before.
this XL? No, just a big old floor. Got it. Dude. I think this is the elite type. Oh, that's not that one. There's a rainbow elite type that drops a bunch of stuff. That was the doubler. It's boss time. What's up? This is actually the first time I've seen Fistula as a boss. I've seen it in several rooms, but first time I've seen it as a boss uh, in the expansion. Cool. Like the new art. Plus one to your lowest stat. Is that the shot speed right now? Ooh, hot dog. That's, um, that's Godhead, though. That's Godhead. Okay, run's looking up, that's for sure. Do I want key piece right now? I think I do. Oopsie daisy. What's our lowest stat right now? Um, what? Why do we see stat down there? I think... Something wore off and we still gained... Tier rate there? Definitely wasn't a tier rate down. Our tier rate is as good or better than it was before. I think tier 8 was the stat that went up. Ah, uh, yes, it was the spilled milk. That was it. So we uh, lost the spilled milk bonus as we went up, or went out of the room, and then gained the the tier 8 from the ribbon. Thank you. That was definitely it. Dude, this damage with Godhead right now is pretty primo. All I gotta do is recover health. You know, no big deal, just the rarest resource in, uh, Repentance. Hell yeah, dude! Here's a few bombs here. Secret room is probably below the sack room here. Apparently not, though. Where is it? You know where it could be and where I want it to be is below the store here, so I can get to the combat room. No, it's not there. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to let that one go. I do think super secrets here, though. Swing and a miss. All right, it's a weird secret room. Going down. Got hands. 
Oof. All right, one heart and a dream. Or do we think this is? Hermit? Okay. <laughs> Nod leaf? Uh, I'm not going to use that, but all right. We've got too many batteries now, so we can use a couple of TNTs. Let's go ahead and Hermit card now. Wow. Double effectiveness on Trinket is probably worth just buying this out right now. I'm going to do that. I can use batteries on this, too. Yeah, I think I'm still going to stick with the bulb, because it's a really massive stat up. What? Did my stats go down there? Confused. Oh, hey, yeah, I bet uh, the Nod Leaf is pretty good on the beast. Just need a appropriate orbital, huh? Okay. Two of hearts. <laughs> well, if we had hearts to double, that'd be cool. down here now. A lot of trinkets this run. Yikes. Where's the health at? Hey, Demoran, thanks for 52 months. Appreciate that half century plus. Thank you. Come on, health. Hey, that is health. I'll take it. And on that note, I'm going to go into the spike room because that could be more health. Okay. Yeah, these items are all right, but I'm not giving up my last heart here. Uh, missing page number two does give a black heart with pickup, but I think I'm going to keep what I have. X -lax. All right, next floor, though, is going to have tons of health for us. Just you wait. Going down. Yo, Robotic Crow, thank you for that five gift sub package. Extremely generous of you. And Zombie Nuts, thank you for a 20 gift sub package. Unreal. 
Thank you for that huge generosity, uh, both of you. Just thank you all for your uh, generosity during this six annual fragments. There's no place I'd rather be. Nothing I'd rather be doing. Literally couldn't do it without you. Altar's nice. They're all too kind, too kind. Thinking I'm gonna do the uh, spike room here and then do the red combat room because I sure could use any and all items right now. On a weird note, this run, I don't think there's been a single dark rock yet. That feller was nearly invisible. You all see the uh, X skull. Feel free to holler about it. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, there's a soul heart. I'm not going to pick that up yet, though. Waiting. It's a good bomb right here. Okay, let's go over this way now. Eye drops. Okay. Um, I'd like to avoid using the two hearts checks. It's one of my only heals I have. We'll see what happens. We got a good brownie build here. All's well that ends well. That. Let's check this out now. Okay, Soul Heart's nice to see. What do? I'm excited I don't want to take. Gonna leave this out here for right now and then pick up the fool card. Breakfast, good old. Thanks for 88 months. Grim Shard, thanks for an awesome eight. MTU Pyro, thanks for 100 bits. And Net Runner 383, thanks for 500 bits as well. Thank you all for that big generosity and kicking off this hype train. Hot dog. If you do choose to share your resub notification, subscribe, use bits, or gift during this time, got a chance some exclusive emo unlocks, but as always, thank you for the most important thing, the time you're choosing to spend here right now. Appreciate that most of all. Hell yeah, look what I have. I have health, guys. I have health right now. Uh, I don't think I will. Not for mystery. Is the most health we've had all run. It's been it's been a crazy one. All right, seven cent items though. I'm in PhD. All right, all right. Nine volts. Okay. We'll donate coins now. You're all going ballistic right now. Monkey Man Railgun. Thanks for six months of lurking. Quarterheart Gaming 42. 
Thoughtful Silence, thanks for 44 months. Zombie Nuts with the 5,000 bits right after that 20 gift sub package. Thank you for that huge generosity today, Zombie Nuts. Wagger, Anodyne, and Myth Rondi, thank you each for those bits as well. Too kind. Isaac. Isaac. Okay, dark rock in here? No. Okay, we're gonna grab Polaroid. We're gonna fool card out. We're fooling. Grabbing two of hearts, and we're going up. I guess we go down one floor before we go up, don't we? Hopefully some health on this floor too, that'd be cool, man. Yo, Grishnok, it most certainly is. Thanks for 47 months. Congratulations on that prime number, partner. Uh, not yet. I probably should just not clear this floor, but I would really like to find some more health. That'd be real cool for me. I do think our build is very efficient at clearing, too, so... Oh, this guy blows up. Cheesy rice, man. Was that necessary? Dude, thank you all for crushing that hype train. Hope you all enjoy your emo unlocks. Tier 5 that one real quick. Come on, store an item room having stuff we like. Game is being a bit of a jerk. Uh, Bullseye is really sick, especially since we have homing shot. This can be up to double damage. Uh, currently, Lazarus, you're goody. What is, what is this? This is me using a bomb. A potato peeler? I mean, probably not, dude. This room usually has skulls or something in it. Hey, half soul heart, I'll take it. Yes, the big spike can push buttons, exactly. Oh yeah, blowing up this rock starts a chain reaction. I remember. Hey, Rangio's pretty good here. I think Seeker Room's right here, I'm gonna check. Correct. Right.
Followers that are walking on the beast fight fall into the uh, lava on the bottom, unfortunately. Good idea, though. All right, here we go. Yo, Gritchnog, thanks for 47 months once again. And Nate Digadogany, thanks for 57. Thank you. Okay, there's that. Like, part of me wants to get out of here, and the other part of me wants to is clear, because... Health. Let's go up here. The Devil. Looking a little bit grim right now for getting the uh, the beast kill here, but look feeling really good about getting the um, getting the character unlock. I don't see any reason. I don't see any way we don't make it back to the the start. Okay, okay. A little money here. The Spurcano. Health up. Love to see that. Crack die is interesting. Mm. I'd much rather have stats at this point. One nice thing about this route is it does get easier as you go up. It does add in elite-style enemies for each floor, but... Um, kind of becomes easier to clear the floors and look for health and stuff. Whether it'll give it to me or not, <laughs> we'll see about that. Um... Tick could actually be worth more than stats, I think. Here's up. Actually, it'd be 30% health because of the box. I'm going to take this. Yes, we get stats down here, but we get a flat reduction. And I also think a heal when each boss spawns.
Yikes. Okay, there's that. I think our... Rack key tring is going to be on the next floor. Not here. I don't want to be in this room. I don't think so, Gendy. We'll go check again, though. Oh, hey, that was a dark rock. Good eye. Plus one. Yeah, downpour two. Here's where our uh, trinket's gonna be. Or crack key, rather. Yo, sideline. Thanks so much for four months. Appreciate that a lot. Alright, there's that. Definitely gonna use bombs in here. 10% chance at a uh, soul heart per fire. Fair. Hell yeah. If you have multiple crack keys, you can open little extra rooms inside of each floor. Hey, nice casually. Congrats on that first unlock, dude. More health, love to see it. A semi recovery here. Pill. I don't think I want to take that right now. I'm pretty happy with my stats and health. Goat hoof. I got some coins for this. Chance of Soul Hearts here. Uh, no, the item room on this floor, Vaporeal, was uh, the one with the spikes and rocks in it, so we had to use a bomb to get the item. Okay, good to know an experimental pill with the PhD. Thanks. We'll go back and take that now. Oh, 
Okay, cool. It is indeed just a stat up. Good looking out. So you get the upside, but not the downside. Yikes. I keep hoping for Hierophant. All things considered, though, our health is pretty good. It's not, uh, not, not been a bad run by any means. Hey, what's up, Fruity Plum? Nine hearts and great damage. Here we go. Got a chance for hearts here, too. All right, judgment. Uh, no, I'm not, I will not. That's a sword. Yes, mother. Here, I'll go sleep in the bed to show you guys. Sleeping in the bed recovers red hearts, and if you have only soul hearts, recovers soul hearts. So we can't even lay in it because we are full health right now. Fair enough, Dogma. Cheesy rice. I gotta learn how to dodge that brimstone. Oh, why would you start with this attack, dude? No, not bad, dude. Not bad.
Hey, Spell Sager, thanks for 74 months. Do you appreciate that six plus years and show not found? Thanks for an awesome 10. All right. I think this is going to be pretty good. Uh, one thing Godhead is very um, efficient at is dealing with... What? Why would he come on the same side there? It's good at dealing with boss armor because the way the damage happens. Yikes. Okay, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, one down. Oh, the bomb itself hurts you. Okay, cool, cool. Yo, Solhar, what's up? Yeah, that's fair, Death. That's fair. Bakers. Okay. Have we got a chance here? Nice part about this build is all of our tiers will be on damage. Okay, phase one down. sleeping and his father taking money from her purse he heard the late night fights they had that kept him up at night and the guilt he felt for what he believed he was causing he felt the pain in his stomach during those sleepless nights and saw his shadow in the closet waiting for him as he rose he felt his fears drop from his body his shame his worry pulled from his being as he became lighter his ascent became faster. 
He saw his one true companion alive and well. He saw his mother and father together again, holding each other. He felt his mother kissing him on the head after he had said his prayers, and the comfort in knowing someone was watching over him. He saw his own birth, and the faces of his parents filled with joy and optimism. And then he saw nothing. Are you sure this is how you want this story to end, Isaac? You're the one writing it. It doesn't have to end this way. Here, how about we tell it a different way? Maybe a happy ending? Okay, Daddy. Good. Are you getting sleepy yet? Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> Isaac and his parents lived in a small house. GG, what a great run. All right, let's uh, let's try one of the alternate character runs here. I'm gonna try Lilith. All right, so on this one, we're gonna use the right analog stick to control the follower. No space per item here, so I'm not sure exactly how this works. Oh, okay. It actually fires tears. Interesting. Is there, like, a touch damage mechanic here, too? Okay. So you can give him the whippy wappy or give him the tears. Seems like the whippy wappy is where the damage is at. Okay, after the release, the touch damage is not there. Got it. So, the whip is the way to kill stuff, it feels like. And then on boss fights, maybe using the, uh, the tiers aren't so bad. Very satisfying swap sound. Yeah, I think using it like a whip is really just the way to go. The damage is pretty primo. We'll know how good the damage is when we hit a boss. Also, on a very uh, big note here, this is... Uh, it goes over rocks, which is nice. All right, it's all right then. You know, using this item actually kind of reminds me of the Dr. Fetus item, the way that you need to time the things. So it's uh, definitely a familiar feel. I think that's probably a good way to look at it actually. Does that increase the range here, or increase the range of our tiers? Tiers. I 
I'm going to go into the spike room here. No, there's no charge up on the attack. I can almost guarantee that tier damage will increase whip damage. A very uh, logical conclusion. Luck up. Nice. That was worth it. No, we cannot grab things over gaps, the little feller. Good question. Okay, going down. Time for me to get caught up. Spellsiger, thanks for 74 months. Show not found. Thanks for 10 months. And Badbone 8, thanks for three awesome months, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, one shot's fires. That's cool. Uh, okay. Rocket Bombs actually kind of works with this a bit. Okay, I can push bombs back too, that's nice. Yeah, I think stuff behind spikes could definitely get pulled by the um, the bab. That's a good call. So while we can't uh, grab things uh, actually over gaps, uh, we could pull something from behind a spike. Sure, it's a very good uh, good thought there. Thanks for sharing that one. Quite have enough damage to one shot those. So the first enemy we haven't been one shotting. Need a little extra help on that one. Well, this is kind of like forgotten for me, where the using the tier portion is a lot safer, but uh, using the WAP is a lot funner. Oh yeah, I got those. It also looks like you can only do the punch in cardinal directions. Yeah, there's no diagonal. Uh, once it's released, you can move it uh, omnidirectional, but the initial um, the initial hit has to be on the cardinal directions. bomb here. Oh man, I got rocket bombs, right. Rocket bombs are dangerous, dude. The Joker. I guess we'll see then. 
Probably should have kept um, the Algees rune for this. No sweat. Yeah, it looks like the Babs keeps all of the um, your tier damage, so maybe the whip's not as powerful as I imagined. Uh, at least not for boss fighting. Empty Vessel, I'm going to take this. Right now it gives black hearts, and if we get down to no uh, no red hearts, which should happen, uh, we can get bonuses. I'm going to use a key here as well. Actually, am I? Yeah, I'm not, if there's a key in here, I'll buy it, but otherwise, not going to worry about going downpour on this one. We need all of the post-its, so we can just go regular heart, which we haven't done really any of since we've done the expansion. Going down. Yikes. Pattern got funkerific. Where did that guy come from? Cheesy rice. Oh, sure, I like rocket bombs. Oh, hell yeah, Rocket Bomb's Dr. Fetus would be sweet. I like that idea. I'll agree with that, Faley. Remembering we have rocket bombs is the hard part. Looks like a good room to use the the babs in. Okay, you can also see that the babby, while I can move omnidirectionally, can only um, can only fire in the cardinal directions. Just the same as the regular regular kid unless you get a special item i wonder what this looks like with the joystick omnidirectional tears item hey to ping thanks for 51 months half century plus
Uh, Brimstone, I think, would probably fire out the whip and then you'd start a charge bar above the baby. I think that'd be the way it'd work. Of course, I have no confirmation of that. It's my first time playing. Just guessing on how the mechanic functions so far. Um, that's how it'd be. Okay. Yeah, I bet knife would be great with the whip. That's a good catch. seen the item room yet. All right. Bear. That's not bad. Anything that protects the character is nice. I prefer some stats here, though. Also, looks like uh, alternate Lilith's starting speed is lower. 0.85 is the old keeper speed. Hey, what's up, buddy? Not bad. Hey, right, there we go. Speed and damage. Those are both very good things. I'm a Joker card here. Well, I guess it's time to find out now, isn't it? Alright, so uh, no charge bar, but you can see what that does. Yes, we're flying because of empty vessel. Fortunately, can't manipulate the brimstone. Um, it is in a set location after we fire. It's still better than the tears we had, but um, not the best iteration of brimstone, if I don't say so myself. also really slowed down the time in between whips. Well, I think that probably hurt us more than hell, but if we took this on a later uh, in a build, probably really good. So good to know that uh, the tier rate you have does determine how fast you can whip.
All right, I'm gonna drop a half heart here and do the combat room. If we die, so be it. Okay, so you can fire and then whip. Definitely a different timing. <laughs> Preferred this without brimstone. Hey, Wasted Mine, thanks for 55 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. But I guess chocolate milk would only let you charge the... Um, charge the tier after you threw out the whip, but I bet chocolate milk would let you throw out the whip incredibly fast. What do? Okay, here's that analog stick. Interesting. Let's find out if we can fire. Okay, so we can fire the brimstone omnidirectional now. That is helpful. More options, always good from bosses. Let's see if we can omnidirectional the um, whip now. Okay, we can omnidirectional the whip now. That's great. Mm. 
take the left one here. Necro Nama Namacon. All right, now we're going to go back to the item room and then get out of here. He's a bomb here. <laughs> He's a bomb here. All right, going down. Uh, Sun Bay, any game plans will be posted in the Discord, but generally speaking, we do everything on a day to day, moment to moment basis here on the broadcast. Colony level 426. Thanks for making it official with Prime. Thank you. Kano? Okay. Yikes. I sense our impending doom soon. And that's okay. It's been a fun first run as alternate Lilith. I think that my main pickup on this one um, is that things that slow down the tier rate are generally going to be bad because it slows down the rate of the whip. So Brimstone slowing down tier rate, not great there. Things like Monstro's Lung too would be pretty suspect, I think. But also things like um, soy milk or almond milk or uh, very fast things like number one. Uh, a lot of the tier rate up items have like a minus range uh, effect applied to them. And those won't matter because range was not increasing the range of the babs or decreasing it. So that was a set amount. The range was only applied to the tiers. So anything that increases tier rate is going to be big damage up. If if whip damage is affected by tier damage, Ipecac would be very good. Yeah. Yeah, I think chocolate milk would whip and charge would also allow you to rapidly apply the whip. Oh, some fun science. Let's, let's go for a new character unlock. We got Jacob, Bethany, Forgotten. Uh, let's do a Bethany character unlock run. Hey, Dosby. Thanks for 13 months of lurking. Appreciate that. Um, Kane's Eye, I think, is a 25% chance for... Okay, cool. Trinket in here. 25% chance for Compass Effect entering the room. Get away, you stinky flies. 
Also, um, Mysterious Liquid, very strong starting item, because it makes every single iteration of tear drop creep on the ground. Oh man, what does this do? Gotta be good. Albeit probably temporary. Only did a few Bethany runs in total, and the one run where we had Blue Candle, we were able to generate a lot of orbitals per room, but they dissipated uh, right away. Yeah, I guess I know what that item does. I'm wondering how it interacts with Bethany. Looks like Pink Widow got a buff. Definitely faster. Okay, uh, definitely not going to be sad about a range up here. Going down. Hey, Babascus 123 thanks for making it official with Prime. Thank you all for that monumental support today. I was very grateful to share this time and place once again. Hard to believe it's been uh, more than 2,520 shows as of today. Wild to be here on our sixth annual mid-year Fragmas and almost 10 years full-time here on the site. Y'all rock. Okay, we got Bloody Combat Room and we have... Rainbow poop. So, uh, that almost certainly means we're going to be doing the combat room this floor. the bosses first while well, we still have our god room chance intact okay well sorry we'll still have that next floor then these gurgles are quick dude all right that drops a soul heart so i don't want that yet Definitely going to try to make use of the combat room here. Okay, Iron Font, not bad. I can use this inside of the combat room. Makes it a lot safer. Oh, that's right, I can't get Soul Hearts because we're Bethany. Good call. Uh oh, Spaghetti. Get hit again here, we die. I don't want to die. Health, Health down, okay. Check this out. Health up, all right. Probably try the combat room on downpour two as well.
Oh, gurgles. All right, so we did fight champion gurgle there. Um, this is the normal gurgle, which leaves blood creep, but is much slower than the ones we just fought in the boss room. Little tempted to check the store here with four keys. I could get up to 15 coins by bombing. I don't think so. Now we'll take this and go on down. Gonna go in here now. Hey, glad you could make it, Cola. Thanks for being here, dude. Um, well, it's pretty cool because it gives us book charges when we take damage, but Sworn Protector, or Seraphim rather, uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna bomb here too. All right, I'm pretty convinced now that the angels always spawn in the correct order now. Correct being blue angel first, then red angel. Yeah, Bethany starts with angel room chance instead of devil room chance, so it's definitely easier to get those rooms. For sure. Guppy's tail? Okay. You know, the Gupster is one thing we have not had uh, in the expansion. Gotten two out of three, three times now, but no three out of three. Oh! I wonder if the extra active chance puts both items on top of the book, because that would be sick. Seems like that would be the case. Steam sail. I need this key at least. Give me keys, though, man. I'll take that. All right, that attack is HP based. That was my orbital, okay. Whoa, Bubba. Are we lived? Living's good.
Uh, mods are not going to be available for the game for at least a little bit because they need time to develop bugs. And it's going to be really hard for them to troubleshoot bugs if people are installing mods which change the game. So mods are disabled for the foreseeable future. Pretty standard fare for mods not to be available at the release of a new expansion for most games. The smaller item uh, HUD is just a uh, item menu or option menu thing. Take this here. Box of Spudamans. Okay, cool, cool. Whoa! Are these temporary? Say no. They're not temporary. Oh, man. Apparently, Box of Spiders is top tier. Jamie's full heal. Be taking that on our way out. All right, let's go do the alternate floor now. I'm sure I can beat that boss. Where's the white fire? Okay. Glad I was lost there. Oh, hey, there's one more room I want to grab before we go to the Mirrorverse here. That sounds awesome, Trad Warden. Sounds like Deck of Cards is very good on Bethany. That's cool, even though I blew up the beggar, he's still here. All right, well, these orbitals we're getting from a uh, box of spiders are very weak, but that's certainly not bad. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so it almost looks like we can generate more than some other items. It's like 10 right now. Yeah. Let's 
I'd say orbitals are pretty hard to keep online anyways, so uh, weak but numerous, um, good description for these. I think that's good. I'd actually rather have this than a bunch of really strong orbitals, or a few strong orbitals, rather. Okay, I think uh, 9 volt will be very strong if we can find that. Then we can get this every room. Yeah, I'm certainly going to fight the boss on this one. Car battery would be less useful because we're only getting about 1.5 charge or 1.25 rather for two uses. Yeah, keep doing that, dude. You're doing great right now. You're doing great. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. All right, scabby time. I wonder if the super seeker room has... Eternal Heart here. No. Kind of a tempting use, but I'm gonna bomb this guy. Yeah, okay. Very cool. down we have a trinket in the basement one um, on this time so we do not need to leave any more stuff for the crack key all right, before we go any further here, uh, right around the two-hour mark of the broadcast, just going to stand and stretch my legs real quick. Take that same break. We take around the same time uh, every single show. Uh, no ads for this break or any break during the show. Just do one set, set of ads at the very end. Please do enjoy this cleaning kitty during our brief intermission. I'll return momentarily for some more fun.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. Hope you enjoyed the kitty cleaning time during our break. Uh, here we are on Bethany, headed towards the uh, alternate character unlock. Now it goes here. That is not a bad arcade. All right, let me get caught up here before I get distracted once again. Thank you all for that wonderful sports day. It truly has been a monumental day for support. Neo Stalgiac, thanks for 33 months. Euro Zyko, thanks for um, slightly remiss, 92 months. December is going to be the month indeed, Euro Zyko. Awesome. True Weaver, thanks for subbing with Prime. Fellbound, thanks for 39 months. And Lagbot, thanks for 64. Just thank you all kindly for that support. Literally couldn't do it without you. Appreciate it every day, every moment. Doing pretty good on keys here for having Guppy's tail too. It's kind of exciting. Seeker room is very likely here. I was wrong. Just had that look, but wasn't quite right. Oh, that's Taurus. Never mind. Greed. <laughs> That's Leo? Okay. Um, how do I feel about Leo? Oh yeah, Taurus is the horn one. I'm not sure how I feel about Leo on this run. Like, it might be alright, but it also causes some problems with running into mushrooms and things. Let's kill the boss and we'll make a decision from there, huh? All right, tier rate's great. Wow, that's a really awesome pickup on Bethany here. Yeah, me too, Hippo Saver. Uh, the later you get down, the kind of worse uh, it becomes. I think specifically because we're Bethany, I'm not going to take Leo. Uh, I think the main benefit of Leo on most characters is breaking skulls uh, to get Dark Rocks. And if we don't have that ability, it's like... Okay. But not good. All right, that's a stat item. Our worst stat was damage. Uh, we'll do. Shouldn't use that yet. Oops. Thinking saving our charges for the beast fight if we make it that far would be really good because these orbitals kind of act as a damage barrier. So uh, having that available for the boss fights would be good. Huh. Yo, Fellbound, thanks for 39 months once again. And Lagbot, thanks for 64. As always, whenever late to or mystery notification, do sincerely apologize. Got a terrible case of that humanized myself. It's true. It's true. 
Also, as part of our No Frills format, I don't have alerts playing in my ears. So thank you for your patience in that regard. And rest assured, if I ever do miss you, I still very much appreciate the time you're choosing to spend here uh, and all the ways you do choose to support. Um, okay. I'd like to use Demon Beggar, but... See if we get hearts here. I'm gonna drop like three, maybe four hearts on this, max. Range down. What a hero. Hey, millions of casts. Thanks for 14 months. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty, down we go. I'm gonna hold off a second on that like I want to open the chest but at the same time uh, I only have seven keys if we find something like a golden key here that'd be awesome okay maybe one though Guppy's tail. That is a direct effect of having uh, Guppy's tail as more red ch or gold chest spawn. So normal effect for that, but still, uh, only six keys. We're we're hoping we get a key drop or something. Yo, what's up? You know, angelic prism should be pretty sick here. Oh yeah, now that is cool. Not only our tiers get converted, but also the orbital tiers. So that's really good. This door is not going to be open still. Maybe I can maintain this heart. I doubt it. Yes, gold chests are a replacement item. Very similar to the way Sackhead replaces items with uh, sacks exactly how it's working. Another one. I might just go in on getting some uh, chest unlock here, because if we get a cascade of keys, it would certainly be good. It is very much random destruction. I don't know when they'll open or not. Come on, flat penny or golden key. 
Yes, assuming it'll be closed is a good assumption. Uh, good, good policy. Okay, well, you did that. Two of spades? Maybe. I'm going to use a key here because both ace of spades and two of spades would be awesome. Okay, wasn't meant to be. I understand. Hey, it's a key. Our first key drop of the floor. Definitely need to check this out. good spot to do some bombs. Ooh, cross base. The lovers. Yo, is that tech five? Good one. The tech five is going to fire a laser intermittently, kind of randomly as we fire our tears. So you can see that the laser also leaves a green creep on the ground. That's really good. They're going to be a big damager. Anything that causes pierce with mysterious liquid is a massive damage up. Okay, more bombs. All right, with no keys dropping here, I think I just got to give up the um, the hope on getting all of these unlocked. going down. I still want to get my item rooms and things. Okay, if we're not getting these gold chests, the important thing is we're maintaining health, um, which has been pretty good. Also, a couple store items that could net us quite a few keys, so we'll keep we'll keep our hopes up for this floor. That's a key. Who's still alive?
The yikes room right here. I think BFF does work on Wisp, yeah. Pretty sure. Might not increase their health, but will increase the damage of the tier they fire out. All right, there's the X skull right outside the boss room. Cool, cool. Hey, keys are dropping. All right, this is um. Oh, I was gonna say a chance for soul hearts, but we're doing pretty good on resource right now. Let's hold off on that. All right, sack is good. Restock. Only there was a key in this store, huh? 48 hour energy. Rousey pill's good to know. Take lovers here. I'm gonna do a donation right now. I should hold out. There could still be um, a coin store inside Gehenna 2, which will be the floor after this. What are you? Mini mesh. Well, speed is nice. As is size down. All right, checking it out. What's up? Holy mantle, hell yeah. Holy mantle's the good stuff right now. Um, I'm going to save my keys because there is another item room and store on the next floor. I got to take this. The news the X skull here is it gives us an out, uh, the fool card to get out of the boss room after the fight, which lets us get to the uh, depth store, which goes to the alternate uh, true final boss. But without the fool card or a teleporting card to get out of here, a teleporting item in general, we can't get out. Hey, Dick. Polaroid time, fool card. I'm also going to grab this Lover's card before we go, though. Holy Mantle absorbs the first damage taken in each room, so it gives us one, one whoopsie per room, which is a really big deal when we're clearing these more difficult floors. Yo, Riley, and thanks for 51 if I missed you earlier. If not, enjoy that double. And thanks for 51, partner. Half century and climbing. And yeah, that door does consume the Polaroid, that's right. Okay, here we go. I got two space for items now. Okay, so they do both go on top of the book. Interesting. There's a different type of orbital now. Okay. Okay. This is a pretty cool interaction, and I will also say Bloody Penny. Um, nice. So what I am noticing here, I think, is that there is a cap per wisp type, not a cap on total wisps.
And in this case, the outer ring should protect the inner ring pretty well. So that's cool. Also, the orbital is traveling opposite directions, a very <laughs> desirable visual. Okay, this is Gemini. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take Gemini. It's uh, not non-offensive, that's for sure. Keep some things a little further away from our orbitals. Oh, yucky yucks. Seeing no real reason not to clear here. Black candle removing curses is certainly nice. Who doesn't like spider mod? Um, I'll buy this key too. I'll buy these keys too. Eight ball, okay. Really only clearing here because I have Holy Mantle. Yikers, dude. Range up, Lucky Penny. Sure. All right. Spider mod does show health bars during the beast fight. I'm sure on that one. Tigers. Calm down, sons. Did he just shoot an eyeball at me? That's pretty rude. So this orbital ball is going to last until it doesn't. And it's all going to fall apart. But you know what? Right now, it's feeling pretty keen. One more chest here. Tier rate? Hell yeah.
right, we're not capped on Bob's head yet. Wow, um, if I could carry Drowsy Pill with us, that'd be super worth. Oh, snap, that goes through the prism too? Sick. Oh, my orbitals. We got an okay beast killing build here. I'd love to have three or four more hearts, but functionally the build's pretty good. I also have a lot of soul heart resource, so we can replenish the um, replenish our wisps pretty easily. I think we reached the cap on Bob there. I didn't see any more spawn. Could be wrong. Oh, it's like Globin must throw. Cool. Not using that. Oh no, it's still spawning him. What's this? Forget me not. Okay. Forget me not spawns pickups you didn't take on the last floor. Okay, that's pretty cool. So like consumable pickups? Guessing not items. Cool effect. Up to eight cards and trinkets. Sounds like a very cool one. D 
do loot. That makes sense, casually challenged. The fool card would take you directly to the beam of light. And I'd love to have Drowsy for that final boss, but we do not have double double slot here. Alright, we're capped on Bob's. Hey, dude, that was very lucky. Yeah, unless we somehow get double card space, we'll be trading whatever's in our card slot for the uh, crack key piece on basement one. Drowsy won us the um, corpse fight on that challenge yesterday. Which... What hit me though? I think Arrowwalk might be more powerful than Drowsy. They're similar-ish, though. Sure. Oh, it's this freaking guy. I'm actually going to use this to protect my orbitals right now. I don't want to use Soul Hearts, but... I don't want to lose my goods. out here. Good eye. We're on basement two right now. And basement one's where our piece is. Away, oh, foul beast! Hold on, are the... Am I seeing this right that the boss projectiles are sometimes shooting a bomb? Oh, that's a good find right there. That's extra health. Ah, I see when the green wisps expire, they do an explosion. Okay. So dangerous. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and gamble here. Or not. Hey, Truin, thanks for two months, dude. Appreciate that. Amnesia. All right, let's go back for our Eternal Heart, which is down here, and we'll be getting out.
actually thinking this might be really good on the boss fight, the exploding orbitals, depending on if we keep them alive or not. Alright, I got money for this. Yo, nice squidgy. Congratulations. Health up, hell yeah. Remember when I said I wanted three or four more hearts? It happened. Okay, this item room is going to have our crack key piece in it. Oh, it is there. I was like, oh, come on now. Wouldn't have been the end of the world, but I certainly would like to fight the beast on this one. All right, let's go. Going home. Thanks answer the question I uh, saw earlier in chat. If you're new to our channel or our yearly format, we do two 31-day streaming events each year, um, one mid-year, which like we're doing now, and one in the month of December. As to what we play and uh, how long, it's very dependent on a lot of things. I definitely say we're a variety channel, though. I play a wide variety of would be considered indie classics. Aha! Uh -huh. Double Trinket's face. Well, yes, mother. It is time. Streams for Fragments usually run around six hours, sometimes more, sometimes a bit less. As with any time we stream 31 days in a row, some days are different than others. Yes, Coyote. Uh, and so on future runs, we don't actually need crack keys since we have the character unlocked now. All right, let's go. It is time. Okay, well, I guess they're just going to shred those right away. Oh, that's cool. The orbitals can absorb the, uh, the big ones. Handy dandy. Another couple uh, orbitals gone. I'll use the book again. Now sounds good. So this is where I'm using my soul arts that I saved up for the run. Of course he's going to do this. Why wouldn't he? One more. One more. One more. There he is. All right. Did really good on that pattern this time. Exceptional, in fact, compared to previous attempts. Oh, another one. Great. Thanks, dude. Got him.
Hey, true, and thanks for two months. Glad you're enjoying the Isaac content. Ferd46, thanks for 52. And Chasley, thanks for 26 months as well. Thank you, thank you. Alright, our damage is okay. It's gonna be really hard to keep orbitals up on this one. Uh, I wonder if it's even worth spamming the book out all that much. Seems like a nope on that. I might save the book for the final phase where it'll be a lot more desirable. Okay, well, I'll take a free charge, that's for sure. This one won't be too bad. I'll activate here. I think it's really cool they added a shoot 'em up section to the uh, the boss here. It's uh, a fun idea. I think this is their best boss design yet. Yikes! Yikes! Oh, you can drop bombs on his head? Cool. I get it now. Getting spoopy in here. Okay, here we go. Such a tohu pattern. Yo, I actually dodged it that time. And that too. Yo, ho, ho, GG. Then suddenly, the sky above cracked open, and a white beam of light reached down into the earth, smiting the mother of harlots asunder and setting the blood lake to a boil. As the beast descended down into the lake of fire, 
Isaac ascended towards the crack in the sky, and as he flew, he could see echoes of his past before him. He saw his mother mourning the loss of her son. He saw his father leaving them without turning to say goodbye. He saw his mother sleeping and his father taking money from her purse. He heard the late night fights they had that kept him up at night and the guilt he felt for what he believed he was causing. He felt the pain in his stomach during those sleepless nights and saw his shadow in the closet waiting for him. As he rose, he felt his fears drop from his body, his shame, his worry, pulled from his being. As he became lighter, his ascent became faster. He saw his one true companion alive and well. He saw his mother and father together again, holding each other. He felt his mother kissing him on the head after he had said his prayers, and the comfort in knowing someone was watching over him. He saw his own birth and the faces of his parents filled with joy and optimism. And then he saw nothing. Are you sure this is how you want this story to end, Isaac? You're the one writing it. It doesn't have to end this way. Here, how about we tell it a different way? Maybe a happy ending? Okay, Daddy. Good. Are you getting sleepy yet? Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> Isaac and his parents lived in a small house on the mountain. GG what a run jar of wisps has appeared in the basement that sounds awesome well uh really cool there that we got a bit or a win with a build that had that little damage um that was the first time on the beast fight I saw all of the phases of the end phase of the boss so now that I've seen all that can very repeatedly get that i would in fact say if we make it to the final phase of the last boss uh probably good with most builds but the horseman is the hard part yeah if that is anything like jar of flies it does sound amazing indeed um i'm wondering how that jar of wisps works gotta be good all right, let's see what other alternate characters we have to unlock here. Uh, Jacob, Forgotten, Apollyon, Keeper, Lost, Azazel, Samson. Oh, Eve's still locked. Okay, let's do an Eve run. I think the uh, Horseman's a bit of a DPS check on some of those phases. Death especially is tough. Hey, Acorn, thanks for almost 70 months of continued support. Thank you. Can't say I miss that myself, but nothing wrong with being nostalgic. Hey, during the uh, Dapper Time and Victory there, uh, Shiori Silver, thanks for that Prime sub, and Just a Random 5, thanks for that Prime sub as well. Thank you all for that wonderful support today and every day. Honored to be here going on 10 years full time now on the site. No place I'd rather be, nothing I'd rather be doing.
Okay, nice. Bomb here is really good because... We got three bombs for one bomb in this room if we set it up right. Okay, I'm gonna go here, right in the middle. Three bombs for one bomb makes me happy. Heard a chest drop too. What's this pill do? I can see forever. Actually, really nice basement one um, pill to get. All right, I'm gonna pop the Babylon effect right now and take the soul heart. Nick poop nickel. This runs blessed. Uh, does anybody know what Dreamcatcher does? I have not picked up that item yet, though it's very clear what the art is. Weird. I didn't see that guy die. Ooh, tiny planet first item. I don't think I can do that right now. Not not on this run. I like tiny planet, but tiny planet is one of those one of those items that gets better the more stuff you already have. Screen between levels where Isaac dreams, you get to see the treasure item that floor holds and the boss you'll face. That's an interesting effect. I'm gonna do this. I don't see why I wouldn't use the beggar here. Oh, you get a half soul heart per floor too. That's not bad. You know what, since we haven't taken um, Dreamcatcher yet, I'm going to go back and buy it here in a second. Dude, this music's bumping. Love it. I've said it every stream so far, but I have... Um been the most pleasantly surprised by the music in the new expansion. I was very lukewarm on um, Ridiculon's other video game music so far, so uh, quite happy with the the music that's provided here. Okay, Dreamcatcher also reveals items even if it's Curse of the Blind. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, as we learned uh, last stream, too, the Curse of the Blind effect is removed by going to the alternate floors going up. So if you leave a blind item on the floor, uh, it will be revealed on your way back up from the depths. What a wonderful day to have a curse. These guys are not fast. They're just spawn lots of ads. Get him, Burb. Peck him to death. Okay. going down.
Okay, I saw a ragman. I didn't see what the item was, though. I wasn't looking. Hmm. Debating if I want to slam these hearts right now, or just be patient. I think I'll be patient. Tiny planet makes the tiers orbit around you, so it makes your tiers a lot more awkward. Uh, it's a fine item, but I was thinking specifically for the boss we're going to, uh, the beast, uh, tiny planet would make it complicated because your range becomes a circumference rather than a straight line. weak. Look at all those little spoodiments. I think the big thing on these uh, yellow enemies, the yellow spiders and the yellow flies, they do have a random element to how they move, but just to verbalize how I see their attack pattern is that they're still trying to work their way towards you, but they also move randomly sometimes. So sometimes they move towards you, sometimes they move randomly. So if you just keep your normal dodging pattern and don't worry about the way they're moving, uh, should be good. Yo, Roy Banjo, thanks for 26 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Who dis? Ragman, I'm just gonna pop this right here. I don't want to deal with the Ragmans. Yeah, keep doing that attack. You're doing great, bud. Best I've ever seen. Champion of the people, Mr. Ragmans. What's in here? I mean, that's going to be a big yip. If a key drops here, I'd love to go in the dice room, but otherwise it's not really feasible. Alright. Also, would key room be worth it compared to... doing that extra level on downpour? Probably not. I wonder if the number of the dice shown on the map is actually the number of the dice room. I feel like it might be. Oh, 
Always shows it too. Fair. Curse of the Unknown. Got plenty of health. Ish. Hell yeah. Oh, there's gas in the middle of this room. It's a tarp. So when there's gas on the, the floor, uh, it will explode. So to be very careful. What's this then? Bucket of lard. Okay, then. What a wonderful day to have a curse. I think I might die on the lost version of this floor. We'll find out. Get dead, you stinkies. Okay, well, no loss going in here, at least. I'm just going to buy the soul heart in the sack here. If I had a fly generating item already, hive mind looks good, but it seems like flies and spiders overall are a lot more um, rare. Dang it, should have bombed this side because seeker room. Alright, who the boss? Bag of poop. Okay then. So this guy's tricky because he does uh, gas and then he puts down a bomb which explodes the gas. Tough boss. God bless. All right, speed up. I think what I'm going to do here is do the alternate floor and probably die on that boss, but... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Drop karma into the item room, too, for later. Yo, Nightbox, thank you so much for 11 months during that boss fight. Appreciate you. Where was the fire at? I was not paying attention enough this floor.
Oh snap. Let's not do that. Oh boy. It's nice. I've lost my holy mantle every room so far. The Empress will help with the boss fight a little bit. All right, let's see what happens, man. Not damaged yet. Yeah. Okay. We're good ish. Okay. Enough of that, buddy. Look at me. I'm a juking and a jiving. Got him. Okay. All right, this room had ads after we cleared it, so let's be careful. There's two on each side, if I remember right. Okay, let's go ahead and head back up here. You know what? I'll just buy Hive Might. It's really never a bad thing to have. Good floor, good floor. Didn't get the items we wanted, but got enough. I'm just gonna razor down my health here. That was a really awesome troll bomb. I like that guy. I'm gonna go ahead and do this too. See if we can um, make this happen. But we left the room to stop the momentum on the items. That mechanic remains the same.
Nod Leaf again. Well, you know, Nod Leaf can work. In fact, we could let Dead Bird do all the work on the boss fight, you know, if we wanted to. Uh, Smug Sub, the effect does not fade until you enter a new room. So you can pick up hearts mid-room and not lose the effects. What's this do? Range up, awesome. Love it. Can't cut bosses with the razor. Good to know. It's the way it was before. Just had to check. Yeah, this is the run where we want Guppy's tail, man. We got, I got 12 keys already. Not that Guppy's tail couldn't expend 12 keys, but... Dude, this is like Red Heart Central right now. Come on, give me like a big deal. Um, I heard Cursed Eye was changed. Let's check it out. I don't think there's teleportation associated with this item anymore. And even if there is, I still like the item. Let me try. I'm going to take damage while I'm charging. Okay, there is still teleportation. Fair. I guess this makes our um, Nod Leaf strategy uh, a little more viable. It could work on Dogma and on the bosses. Yeah, I don't believe getting hit with a full charge teleported before either. A present's good. We can have money for that. We can drop that in the spike room. That's a great question. Let's find out, Supreme. Yes, we can teleport using the razor uh, in Cursed Eye. Good interaction uh, catch there. But self damage does it as well, not just enemy damage. More tier would be really nice too here. Let's get faster charge up. Not even for the uh, decreased time for teleport, but for the just increased time to maximum charge. I wonder if we can teleport into the combat room here. It seems like we would be able to.
try this out. Fair enough. Ooh, what's this do here? All right, more health. Amazing. Maybe combat room is kind of off limits. Kind of feels that way. Oh, okay. That's why it was unlit. Uh, Even though we've been in here, there's enemies still spawned from the button. Yeah, we're hoping for a triple, double red heart uh, devil deal. That'd be the one. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm just not going to take that. We have enough health already. Plenty. Plenty of health. The tough room not to get teleported in. Yeah, I think I'm still on the same page with Curse Eye as I was before expansion, where I like the item, but I like it a lot more after my build is set. Also worth noting on Curse Eye that you can fire the tiers before they're fully charged, so you can get up to five shots for full charge, and you can fire as little as two. Give me a tough one, too. Your brimstone. Mr. Squeezy. Hey, what's up, Gigum? Glad you could stop by today. Uh, Seth, as we died on that run, though, to, uh, this cap what we learned about alternate Lilith um, on that run is that items that affect tier rate affect the rate at which you can use the whip. Uh, Brimstone does have an interaction with it. That's about it. 
pretty much items that affect tier rate and damage increase the damage of the whip attack, which I think is the best uh, best attack on that one. You're really going to end up using the extended babs uh, more so on bosses mainly. this room, man. You know what I'm gonna do here? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Get pecked to death, you sons of guns. Acid baby. Okay, acid baby drops a lot of pills. A very acceptable rune to be using Nodleafen for sure. Bit of a nightmare that one. Yeah, I can see that looking like Mongo in the dream. <laughs> Betrayal's the item here. This run is, like, pretty cursed, man. Pretty cursed. I wonder if the Razor here can actually do enough damage to kill or not. I'm not sure if this item can actually kill enemies. Let's find out. Oh, he's healing the other ones. What a jerk. So he's like a healing center. Yikes. No worries, chill out. No worries. All good, my dude. I love quarters. Oh, hey, we're already on depths too right now? Okay, okay. Feel a little better now. I think I'll be taking damage and not leafing the mom foot. I don't see how else we're going to do this. Actually, may just consider picking up red hearts now, too. It's going to be painful to clear, but uh, we have kind of like a cheesy combo to beat the boss. Like, rooms like this are going to take a, small, a short eternity, but... 
Okay. Okay, fair enough. Probably not going back that way. Yo, Jonah997, thanks so much for that sub extension. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Really appreciate it. Uh, you still take damage when you're teleported. Yeah. Tough one. Okay, Golden Bomb is interesting. I'm actually hoping to get bombs here. Yes, the enemies will have full health when we re-enter the room, and our enemies do regenerate um, their health. I'm also wondering if Razor eats the Eternal Heart first or not. There's some bombs. The reason I want bombs is so I can uh, bomb through rooms on our way back up. The nasty ones we can just pass through. I might just bomb around the monster room. Oh snap, this room. I'm out of here, dude. Later, Tater. Later, Taters. Gotta wonder if uh, Betrayal has changed it all. Okay, good to know the Blood Machine doesn't remove that first. If that's the case... Interesting. Oh, hey, we could teleport without, without the Fool card right now using um, Cursed Eye. Empire for hire. Thank you so much for 44 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper, partner.
Too cool. All right, so I'm going to walk in here. I'm going to use the razor, and I'm going to stand right her. Isaac. Now, don't get distracted here, bird, okay? Oh, boy. Okay, it looks like their razor might be doing damage a little bit. Razor did not remove the heart. You're right. This is actually exactly where I want to stand. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. One moment. Well, whoops. One sec here. I got to reboot the run real quick. I think I'm just going to do this fight. I think we should still be in the fight here, and I need to... What? That was interesting. Okay, it's not letting me menu here. This is a weird one. Let's go options, change controller, this one. That's the one I want to use. Might be bamboozled here, actually. Okay, we'll try this one more time. That uh, curse message popping up is really weird. So when we go back in the game, it's it plugs it in as controller 2. So it puts you in co-op mode, which is an interesting bug, I think. Okay, let's see if we get this now. Okay, okay that worked. So it shows us as player two for the moment, but when we go down the next floor, we will not be player two. Yikes. No way. Okay, this is good. This actually removes the cursed eye problem big time. What a serendipity moment. Yes, blessed I indeed. All right, let me try uh, going back again and then continuing. Okay, now we're back to being player one. Cool.
feel like the cooldown on the Dr. Fetus Bomb is a little bit longer than it was previously. Necessarily a bad thing, just a little different. Hell yeah, that was nice. So the foot is the opportunity to hit here. That oh, we're good. I don't have fool card anymore. I wonder if I can still teleport via cursed eye. Can't. Do I have any more marks I need to get on Eve? I don't think so. That's okay. We'll go to chest then. Yeah, new uh, new epic fetus definitely works a little differently. Mini mush, nice. Whoa. Uh, Mike Merritt, it fixed itself when we exited back out and then went back in after um, plugging in, though I believe it would have corrected itself after the next floor, too. Killed that fella. <laughs> Yo, Fallen, what's up? No, <laughs> tough. What is this item? This one makes tears have a chance to spawn a rift that pulls enemies in.
<laughs> nice play, Dingle. I'm a little awkward with um, Epic Fetus here, but it works. I wonder if tier rate increases the... Um, or decreases the downtime in between bombs here. Seems like it might. Okay, we still have Polaroid, so we can go up here. Good. I don't think we've done Cathedral yet in the expansion, so cool. It would make sense that tier 8 would do that here. To me, anyways. Ooh, that's a toughie right there. That's a lot of health lost. Looking good. Now well, we got throwers here. Yikes. <laughs> got myself the bomb in the end there. Well, that was a really awkward run from the cursed eye to the epic fetus to the controller disconnect. But a fun one nonetheless. It was actually one of our lowest damage runs overall since the new expansion, I think. We'll head back into a uh, Eve run after a short break here. Give me just a minute.
Alrighty, we have returned. Uh, just swap my peripheral real quick, so no more controller disconnects. That'll be nice. Let's head back into an Eve run here. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Alright, we'll start by going in the spike room here. Okay. I'm going to take Ghost Babs. I wonder if this is going to put me at a half heart or if it's going to take the empty heart container. Because one of those things kills me and one doesn't. Okay, we're good. Hey, good afternoon, synth and lasers. Glad you could make it. Soul heart, very nice. Uh, I'm not going to turn down Capricorn. That is an all stats up. An all stats up is mighty fine by me. Yeah, we do have a tenant rock here, but only one bomb so far. We may be back for that, may not. Two tenant rocks here. One cool part about the path we're taking is if we leave tenant rocks, I believe they're still there on our way back. Another bomb, okay. Yo, Prop Hat, thank you so much for 19 months. Much appreciation. Alright, regular Googles this time. I'm in. Oh, I see. They don't charge you if they're on the blind eye side, I think. More health, okay. Might just forfeit the Babylon effect. We are at basically base damage now. Uh, tinted rocks and dark rocks are the same thing, Gary. Let's go down. Excellent first floor indeed. The tractor beam is okay. So this guy's gonna split into new fellers. Interesting. sold on going to the store yet. We only got five coins.
For spikes, I think so, Sarujin. For the curse room, I think not. We're gonna science that here in a second. Try poops nice. Close. Yo, what's up, little feller? Um, okay, let's do this too then. Cole's really nice. Always nice. Alright, let's go do some science with iframes here. First, we're going to try to do this. It worked, so we're able to use our red heart to enter. Yes, if you leave that boss alone for 30 seconds, he drops a unique item. That's right. Okay, we are able to use the razor to enter and leave the combat room as well. That's nice. Very nice. It also unlocks the item for the game, so a good thing to do. Going down. Since we have uh, coal now, uh, activating the Babylon effect much less important. And what I'm going to do... That's a quarter right there. Uh, what I'm going to do instead... Oh, it's Leech. Oh, okay. Leech can drop from buckets. Cool. We're going to use the Razor to generate iframes to get over spikes or enter spike rooms instead of activating Babylon consistently. It's just coal's damage up is enough.
this freaking guy. Tractor beam is actually kind of bad here, but a little do. Latch key. Okay, luck up. Keys and a soul heart. Gold key. That's a really big damage up. Really big. Okay, those... Orbit the enemies. Interesting. Haven't seen those flies very much. Pretty uh, uncommon enemy. I think just soul heart here is fine. Iron Core 45, thanks for 78 months. Appreciate that six and a half years. Interesting. Okay, so doing the damage with the razor activated the the bit there. Cool. Yeah, no idea on that iron core. The re notifications do some weird stuff. Nothing I have control over, that's for sure. To the alternate Mirrorverse. Feels like we'll be taking this path pretty much every run that we do, no matter what the pathing is, because in this extra floor and extra chance at item just seems like a really nice effect. What? Okay, well, uh, duly noted, Razor kills you as the lost. Now we know. Let's try that one more time. That was very unexpected by me there. I guess since it takes red heart damage right away, any damage kills the lost, so it got past Holy Mantle that way. Now we know. What other items would do direct damage like that? IV bag? IV bag is the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Power card, uh, potato peeler, okay, okay. Yeah, Demon Beggar is not an item, though. I knew Demon Beggar and Temperance kill you on the loss. That was, that was well known. Those all are things that can kill you as the loss, though. All right, you know what? I'm going to actually restart this one since we started with a uh, luck down and a pretty mediocre item overall. I don't do too many resets, but it seems appropriate there. All right. 
Ah, maybe could have used my iframes there. All right. One out of three conjoined. Thanks. <laughs> Not bad. Right on Torpedo Bench. Glad you could catch that, dude. Beast certainly is a fun fight. We saw, we've saw we beaten the Beast twice today on stream, and I'm feeling a lot more comfortable in that fight, even with a weaker build now. Especially having seen Phase 2 and Phase 3 fully on the Beast now. It's not, it's not that bad. I think the Horseman's actually the harder part of the fight overall. Gonna bomb here as I am almost dead, and this guy's patterns are a bit wacky. Great chest. Cheesy rice, man. Calm down, son. Yo, into land. Thanks for 29 months, dude. Just thank you so much, everybody, for that support today and every day. It's been an awesome first six day of Fragmas so far. Still got uh, quite a few streams after day 25, in fact, to round out our mid year Fragmas. What a ride. Will be our seventh annual Winter Fragmas this December 1st through 31st. And right after that will be uh, our 10 year full time mark. Should also note that uh, this Fragmas is going to end with our first ever subathon on the 31st day. That will start at 8 hours and go up to uh, 16. Hope to see you there for that. I want to do a subathon for a few reasons. Uh, the main reason is I'm testing out for a bigger idea for our winter Fragmas. Uh, looking forward to that. But we'll do this one first and see how it goes. Probably bombing here. Let's do it now. Yeah, that's certainly a thing right there. Alright, I would like Smelter. Smelter gets pretty wild. Still need to leave a trinket in the item room to get our crack key piece on the way back, but... I mean, we should be seeing at least three or four trinkets this run to absorb.
Might as well do this now, in fact. I'll be back. Oh! I'll be back to stream too. There's one. Yeah, it's another space prime. It's not so good. Not bad. It stops tears mid-air, so... Arguably pretty decent. As it stands, we don't have enough money to get the smelter. What's up, Dingle? Pop this here before it's a problem. Okay, it is eight way and spiders. Interesting. How many dashes on him? Just the one this time. Wow, blood creep pretty good here. Beat-up's not bad. What do? This item is brimstone every three rooms. I think I'm gonna take this. Or I hold out for a god room. Give it a go. Speed down. We're taking that. We're not going to be taking um, the smelter. It's fine. I'm going to go into the curse room now and then moon card out. Ooh, no bomb here. Yikes. The moon. The moon. Uh, it only gave us the one way out. Fair enough. Fair enough. Going down. Yo, Seal Terror, thanks for 55 months. Much appreciation. See what this does. It's just straight up brimmy. Heard if you can use it twice in the same room, it gives like super brim. It's cool. So, possibility there would be like the uh, battery that lets you get two charges or the overcharge battery. Save it for a boss fight. And I guess on the beast fight, you do get ticks in between the phases, so that would be a way to guarantee um, the big one. Yeah, car battery would work too. Here is the white fire, two rooms below the store. I was verbalizing that, so I remember later. You know, poison is a pretty good effect. Uh, now, I definitely got a buff, so I'm gonna take that. Oh, that's Virgo. Never mind. Virgo does make all the pills good, if that effect remained the same. Also, I believe with Virgo, chance to get a shield on hit and more healing, maybe?
Uh, we're on Curse of the Maze right now, we Scotsman. I think they changed the way it works a little bit. Or made it less detrimental. But the icon just below the map, those two arrows, is the Curse of the Maze uh, icon. Okay, Dark Rock here. No bomb yet, though. Oh, this guy again, huh? Yeah. Dude, it's terrifying right now. Whew, box of stuff isn't what I was hoping for. Telepills, okay. I'm going to take telepills with me uh, to the other floor. Uh, I'm also going to drop this trinket in the item room. We're going to get transformed into a red key piece later so we can unlock the alternate character. Puberty, okay, that's fine. Yikes. Oh, Liberty Cat's pretty nice trinket, actually. Rando mushroom effects. Okay, I'm telepilling. That was just a really unfortunate set. 
of circumstances there. Alright, I'm just going to roll out then. Okay, go. I've 15 coins now. Is there an item in the store? None that we want. Temperance or Sun? That's a tough choice. I think I'm going to take Temperance over Sun. Going down. Shot speed up. Let me go ahead and do this. Oh, of course. Same one. Need a bomb for that room. I would guess the space bar would count towards Leviathan. I wouldn't see it not. I don't know for sure, though. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Yeah, I think if we can make it to the beast, this sulfur item is going to be really OP. Gotta make it there, though. PhD, um, I already have Virgo, so maybe PhD is not great. Virgo, to my understanding, already makes all pill effects good. So I think it's doubling down on the same effect. It would reveal pills, though, as we pick them up. I don't believe PhD removes neutral pills from the pool. It just means there's no bad pills, right?
Oh, this is too tempting to pass up. I don't want to do this room again. Okay, interesting. Flying for one room would be awesome here. that oh that was him making the room dark got it hey tier rate's awesome and all right necronomicon not so awesome i'll take those black hearts though stanley believe it I think that's the floor right there. Oh, you know what PhD does do? It gives more coins on Temperance Machine. So that's... That's definitely a thing I like. stats up. Also a full heal, so I could have dropped Temperance there, though I'm waiting for a room that actually has hearts in it to drop Temperance. I went in there, didn't I? Yeah, that room was four fires. I remember now. Alright, back to the boss room now. Can't quite get to that, I wish. Going down. Virgo Shield can proc off of any damage, so it can proc on Temperance, so it's only a chance for. Oh, Mask Infamy is a very solid defensive item. All right, this will be a chance to use this twice in the room. It'll be a bit of a waste of the charge. I just want to see what it looks like. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. It's going to be a Beast Slayer. Dark Rock here. I'm going to pop this now before I forget about it. Ow. Yeah, it'd be a good boss rush item too, that's true. Ha <laughs> ha 
When did we get uh, shrinking tears? Where'd this come from? Is this mask of me effect now? The last item we picked up that I think would change anything. Definitely don't have the uh, God's Flesh Mushroom. Oh, Liberty Cap. That's right, we gulped that. Thank you. That would definitely do it. Hey, Narwhalable. Welcome to the Damper. Thank you so much for making it official with Prime. Really appreciate that. Thank you all for all the ways you do choose to support this content. Very grateful. Okay, I'm gonna guess Seeker Room South here. Room just has that look. Hey, R2 Cali, thanks for that resubscription with Prime as well. Thank you. Glad you can make it back, available. Cheers. Surprised it will slide by there. Pleasantly surprised. give damage up. Alright, so what I'm hoping for here is like a wicked strong devil deal. I'd also like to find a spot to use this temperance uh, machine. Fair. Good floor, though. Oh, man, just having that uh, red patch damage. Very helpful. Thanks, Mask. Alright, this is Depths 1. Let's fight the boss. Who is it? It's Yuse. Interesting, was there some sort of enrage that happened there? Is that what I saw? Yikes. Thanks, Virgo. No, I think that was just a glitch.
Hey, there's some damage. Not much, but it'll do. Emperor, interesting. Yeah, as you say, Mausoleum's, I think, one of the toughest, if not the toughest, new area. So just good luck and just practice the enemy patterns. It's really uh, it's really a tough area, especially if you get there with low damage. Should not be feeling bad about getting your butt kicked in there. It is, it's a toughie. Yo, fail strategist. Thank you so much for 30 months. Much appreciation for that continuation. Thank you. Uh, let's try for a super secret right here. Oh, okay. Let's go. Hey, that wolf. Thanks for 13 months. Thank you. I dare say Headless Baby has been the hero of this run. That's a grim statement because it's not a great follower. That room, man. It's a toughie. Hey, Binky. Tears up in a soul heart. That's damage. Yo, Dark Rock in here with Wrath. What's up? drop there. If I want to look at that, there's several runes here that could be really good. I'm going to drop Temperance right now. I'm going to pop the blank rune too. Hoping for Algies. That and Suz instead. Oh, old bandage drop that. Cool. Hey, Virgo Prox. Nice. You know, HPF's not bad. I would like to have the Babylon effect procced, but just having health is the most important thing for the fight we're going to. Yikes.
Who dat? Bloodshot eye, okay. It's damage in a way. Jar of Flies is good. It's not going to save us, though. Teleportation card. doing okay they don't move in straight lines got it those enemies behave differently than their counterparts okay definitely gonna use a couple bombs there should be an okay mr boom spot but i'm not walking back for it nice hella pills also gets us out All right, if we place the bomb perfectly here, we can get all three fires in one bomb. Dude, not bad. Good old blue mom. Oh, man, we're not one-shotting the greed heads. That's tough. That is tough. Tough situation. Almost one-shot, though. It's good enough. Isaac. What does Satine got here? You know, I think I'm going to drop three hearts here. It's a little risky, but I think worth it. Fuck up, rad. Oh, I missed that Virgo shield. Okay. Alright, we got Polaroid Shield. Okay, I could have uh, maxed this out a lot better. What's this? Speedball, okay. What do? Multidimensional maybe is awesome. Brimstone Bombs. Check these out. Hell yeah! Those are great. Alright, we're stars carding. I'm going to clear the rest of the floor now as well, just for my own um, curiosity, mostly. Hopefully find their harder, too. No spike room, though.
That was a pretty significant increase in our damage. Which floor has the trinket in it here? It's... We'll say Caves 1. Starting room was here. Going down. Make sure you miss anything here. Now we're good. Yo, Dresden, thanks for 63 months, 5 plus years in that one infinite lighthouse. Thanks for 38 biggins, dude. Thank you. It's a bit of a yikes. of the unknown, okay. I wonder if this dude's brim hurts enemies too. It probably should, right? Ooh, two bombs to get to that soul heart is pretty pricey. I think I'm gonna do it anyways, though. Whoa! Okay, I didn't realize it could turn that much. Dude, that room is scary. I was going to use brimstone, it's just not necessary in this room, though. What? Oh, they left Blood Creep. Okay. Okay. I got you. not seen that enemy's pattern yet. Now I have. Pretty nice. Okay, 
Okay, good to know our brimstone bombs don't damage us. Like, I really should leave, but I've already committed to a lot of clear here, and I haven't seen the store item room, so I think I'm going to finish up. good. Kumpa is actually quite nice as well. What? Oh, we can resummon him. Well, there's been one good thing about this run. We're going to see a lot of these enemies' patterns that I was unaware of before. Cool. Spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. There's an item in here. How can you have spent our savings? What do? This is a yikes. Super tough. I have learned so much about the enemy patterns on this run. Ah, okay, that's where we just were. Got you. I don't know why I went in here. I shouldn't have. Turned out for the best, though. Might have been worth brimstone. Should not be afraid to use the uh, activatable here. I don't like the room. This is a deceptively uh, tough room. Feels easy, but it's not, because all those are very random. Ooh, I did that. I will be happy just getting the character unlock on this um, here, to be honest. This will be a good room for bombs. What? Hadn't seen that attack before. Uh, let's choose one right here. Blackheart, awesome. Yo, Leon, Leon, thanks so much for 90 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you so much. 10 more for that 100 club. You got that right.
going up. Okay, this is... Absolutely. Brimstone room. Whoa! That does happen. Hey, cheers, Italian Radio. Glad you could make it today. Let's go. Praise the sun, if only I could be so grossly incandescent. Card in this room, so this is going to be the uh, the floor we need to get to the item room on. Tigers right here. I'm definitely going to use this beggar here. Ooh, petrified poop could be interesting. Maybe not good, but chance of hearts here. Hey, CJ Norris, thanks for 13 months. Appreciate the continuation, man. Thank you, thank you. Hey... It's actually going to be a damage down, but I think the health's more valuable than damage, at least for the beast fight. Our damage kind of sorted by the space bar item. Got to make it there. Does anybody know if the brimstone effect will persist between the dogma fight and the shoot em up section? My initial thought is no. Meaning we should save the brimstone for the start of the shoot em up section if we survive that long. I'm assuming it's two separate rooms, technically. Yeah, that makes sense. Whoa! Why explosion? Tough. I think up is the starting room. All right, basement one time.
Yeah, this is our first time using the item ethereal, so no, I'm not sure. That's just my assumption currently. I don't see any reason it wouldn't. Yikes. Looks like we're going to have to be satisfied just getting to the character unlock on this one. I suppose with some excellent play, we could make it to the beast. That'll do. Oh, hey, this could be recovery right here. Let's see. I feel like, uh... Purple Machine spawns on every basement one. Permits, okay. Hoping for Hierophant. That's actually quite good. That's tier 8. Good amount of it, too. Hell yeah, more soul hearts. I got crack key, I got the cancer trinket, actually recovered some good health here. Let's go. I'll definitely have a chance here, and we arrived at our goal, which was unlocking Alternate Eve. All right. Not bad. All right, excuse me for just one sec. Just going to use the restroom real quick, and then uh, we'll take on Dogma and maybe the Beast. Maybe get our third beast kill today.
All right. We have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. We're going to take on Dogma here, and, uh, well, regardless of what happens, we'll uh, be happy with our character unlock. I think what I'm going to do is use our Brimstone Bombs on the Dogma Fight Phase 2. It's going to be our best damage opportunity with those. This is definitely the lowest damage I've had on this fight by a pretty wide margin. Oops. So I was trying to figure out the exact pattern on this brim. Like, is it... Is it about where Dogma is, or is it about... Where the TV is. I don't know. Seems to be related to the TV, actually. Yikes. Okay, the, the TV functions as a shield. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Thank you. Oops. I got him a little bit with that one, at least. Oh no. At least we got this pattern down now. I think this phase, or this attack, is the most problematic of all the attacks he does. Okay, I'm surprised he made it that far. Let's see what we can do. Yo, righteous dude, thanks for six months. A-OK, -okay. thanks for 56. Fusion Titan, 78. And Fire Pixie, 385. Thanks for 83 months. Thank you. Interesting. So it's kind of randomized which side he comes in on. Oh, we got Holy Mantle there too. That's right. What? How did I gain hearts here? The heck? Oh, 
Oh, yikes. Just lacking the raw damage for this fight right now. Get him, bird. Get him. Yeah, looks like the game does give you a little bit of health, which is, uh, nice. Ooh. Okay, I have not seen this attack yet. That is a new one. Okay, so it does try to target the character. Interesting. Well, the best part about having low damage on this fight is we get to see phases we have not seen before, which means... New information. Okay, I'll have Brimstone up after this phase, I think. It's big. Go. Fair enough. Valiant effort for what our build was. A uh, big takeaway from that one was the chub on the pestilence fight. Um, so the way that works is it goes across the screen over and over again, uh, wherever the character was when the chub disappeared on the one side. I think with just like two or three more damage right there, we would have easily gotten to the last phase, which I'm now confident in beating. Is good. Field Medic, thanks for 24 months. Appreciate two years. Kickflips, thanks for 39. And Isometric... Thanks for seven awesome months. I think once you had the pattern recognition down there, it's not too bad. Um, like even doing that on the lost after we get 15 or 20 more attempts in, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. And we did get our new character. Let's take a look at that real fast. So today we unlocked uh, alternate Lazarus. Alternate Eve. And alternate uh, Bethany. Blood power, weaker items. Okay. So I want to see what alternate Eve's about real quick. What does this do? Okay, do I stab enemies with it? No, that's not it. Huh. So does it amplify my tear? Oh, okay.
Oh, I saw that. Okay. Okay, so you can create little familiars, but she's overall pretty weak. Good to know. Man, that clot is pretty darn cute. Pretty darn cute. Well, all right, everybody. I think I'm going to be happy with our Isaac play uh, today with that. We got two beast kills and three alternate characters unlocked. A very successful day overall. It's also going to conclude our show number 2,523 here on Twitch in day 7 out of 31 of our 6th annual Mid-Year Fragments. We got 25 more streams in a row coming up starting around 1 p.m. Pacific each day. Uh, thanks for making it a great one. Appreciate all the time and your support today. Um, as a reminder, going to run three minutes worth of ads here on our way out. The only ads I play for the entire broadcast. Just thanks for another great one here on Twitch. It was awesome. Have a good one, Bachelor Gamepad. Sea Winter, Platinum K, SD, good to see you. Louvre, Sable, Red Gubbins, take it easy, Tharson, Delbach, and all the rest. Have a great one, everybody. We'll catch you on the flip side. Looking forward to it already.